What's going on everybody and in today's video we got a hand cam for MX Rus HV Legends. This isn't going to be like a insanely fast lap or nothing like that. I'm just going to show a lap on Southwick and then show a lap on the brand new Thunder Valley. Just to show you guys how my fingers and my hands are on the controller when I'm playing. And I'll uh, try to give you guys some pointers and tips as well. Even though I'm not the world's fastest player at this game, I'd say my pace is overall pretty decent when I'm not crashing every two corners. I am using the manual face button control scheme, just in case you're wondering, so I shift up with X on the Xbox controller. Shift up with X, shift down with um, A, I believe. So in every other game, I shift up with B, shift down with X, and A is my back break. But in Legends, you can't customize the controls, so this is what I run with. One weird thing you might notice that I do when I'm shifting sometimes, if I'm going in a corner or down a straightaway over a jump and I want to lean and shift at the same time, I'll actually use my index finger to reach down and shift instead of my thumb, mainly just so I can lean at the same time. That's really the, one of the weird things I do. A couple pointers I can give you guys for cornering in this game. Let's say you want to rail the titties off of a tight turn type berm, right? So you're flying in there and you want to give your front brake a bunch of little taps, maybe three or four, as you're turning with the left stick. And I find this really helps you slow down but also turn your bike at the same time. Uh, for whatever reason in this game, it seems like whenever you tap the front brake, your guy kind of turns ever so slightly. You can, this also works with the back brake. You can get the back brake a few taps, but I find it slides you out um, sometimes, so I mainly just use the front brake, give that a few taps. Even if you're coming around long, long bends, um, the front brake, give it a tap or two to adjust your guy's angle. I find that helps for me. One of the last things for cornering, let's say you want to rail um, an outside berm or something like that. I find if you're hammering on the throttle while turning, you often will just fly off the track or you get a lot of understeer. So what I like to do, fly into the corner but let off the gas and just steer all the way through the corner. Sometimes give it a little bit of a tab of the gas. And I find when you let off the gas, your guy tracks the corners and berms a lot better. If you have a lot of speed, your momentum will carry you all the way around the corner. You may also notice that I absolutely abuse the shit out of the clutch in this game. Coming off of starts, I seem to always get whole shots in online races. Um, you kind of want to lean forward, uh, shift up the first, and tap the clutch as soon as you shift. Um, it's like that pretty much everywhere on the track. The second I shift, I use the clutch right away. Even when you come out of corners, if you're not shifting, just give the clutch a tap. Let's say you over jump something. Uh, just give it a tap and you, you get your momentum going right away. The clutch is very useful in this game. It's always kind of been that way in the MX vs ATV games, but uh, it's pretty much my pointers, really. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll just let you enjoy the rest of this lap. Uh, that's pretty much all I got to say, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, take care.